Hello children. Children, you have learnt about number 1 and number 2. Today, we are going to learn about number 3. We will be learning what is 3 and not 3. So, you all know that each number has a value associated with it. We denote number 1 with one object. Number 2 with two objects. And number 3 with three objects. Now, to understand this concept better, we will do an activity. Children, as we see, we have different objects kept in this tree. Now, first, let us sort them into sets. Now, I will start by taking this car and I will put it here. So, this is set of car. Now, I will take set of carom coins and I will put it here. So, this is set of carom coins. Now, next, I will take this key and put it here. So, here we have set of keys. Now, the last one, I will put these blocks over here. So, here we have set of blocks. Children, this is number 3. And number 3 is written like this. We will take a turn and stop. And continue, come down, take a turn and stop. This is how we write number 3. Now, let us join number 3 to that set which has 3 objects. And which does not have 3 objects, we will put a crisscross. So, we will start with this set. Let us count how many objects do we have here. 1. Is this 3? No. So, we will put a crisscross. This is not 3. We will come to this set. Let us count 1, 2, 3. Are these 3? Yes, we will join it. We will come to the other set. Let us count how many objects do we have here. We have 1, 2. Are these 3? No. We will put a criss cross. We will go to the last set. Set of blocks. Let us count. 1, 2, 3. Are these 3? Yes. So let us join. So by this we have understood the value of number 3. We have joined with only those set which has 3 objects. That's all for now. Thank you.